is DJ. We have arrived at our bed and breakfast for a few days, the Bourbon Inn. So we're going to check it out. It's a beautiful, beautiful spring day here. This is an old house from 1795 was the frame section then became brick in 1820. It's an early 19th century resident shop for furniture chair makers that's been restored. Let's go in and check out our home for the next few days. Here is the main floor room. This room has not always been attached to the main room. It used to be the cabinet shop. You can get to the main house or it has its own door that you can get to from outside in the front and the back. It's a little green room. Shower. There is the bedroom. It also has the fireplace. It has high ceilings. It's got the, the TV. Great little view. Sitting area. And the refrigerator. And that little uh, coffee station here. You can go right outside from the back. Pour right out there to the backyard. Or just leave the door open. King size room downstairs in the bed and breakfast. We have really enjoyed staying here. It's been really nice. So good morning, everybody. So we are winding up our visit at the Bourbon Inn, and this is our innkeeper, Hannah. She has graciously welcomed us into her home and made us feel like we've been best friends forever. We don't often stay in bed and breakfast, so this was a really big treat. And we thank you so much for that. Glad you picked us. <laughs> well, I'm glad we did too. We had a three course, no no lie, three course breakfast every morning. We had a little appetizer, then our main meal, then our dessert. Mm -hmm. She prepared it every morning, whatever time we decided we wanted to eat. We, she just accommodated that, had sweets out for us in the evenings, and all the snacks and all the goodies. We're at our bed and breakfast, and we're going to have our breakfast. What a nice treat to wake up and have breakfast ready for you. We're gonna start with our coffee and our, some fruit. Beautiful parfait this morning. Little tight berry granola parfait. With veggie frittatas with breakfast sausage and that cheesy half dog casserole. Yummy. I'm not used to having dessert for breakfast. They got bourbon, bananas, foster, banana nut muffins. Three course breakfast here. And that's it. Come right in. Let's go out here, folks. And this living area that's very peaceful has a fireplace you can sit in and watch some TV or just relax. Of course, they've got bourbon on display. This is where we'll have our breakfast in the morning. They've got Lots of bourbon on display. That's going to be fun to look at. And snacks they have always right here. Some chocolate covered strawberries and some fruits. And then you can get coffee and tea. Coffee and tea station water. And then a fun little backyard. Hannah, what made you decide to do this? I've always been in hospitality. And my husband and I visited Bardstown because he loves bourbon. So <laughs> the great getaway. And then we fell in love with this house. There's so much history here. The original house was built in 1795, so the third oldest home in Bardstown. And Bardstown has so much historic charm that I was just so passionate about being able to share that with people like you who come and visit and experience Bardstown for the first time, get a taste of Southern hospitality, history, plenty of bourbon. Yeah, and clicking out the little spots to go to that you wouldn't know. Exactly. You helped us with that, yeah. so that was awesome. Yeah. Your little neighborhood spots as well as your tourist spots, but where are the locals at Tuesday night? <laughs> yeah, so this is a walking down. You yeah. can walk to almost anywhere. It, it's just a beautiful. And it, all this history goes back to 1700. Yeah, we have some great museums and art gallery and everything in town as well that really pay like an ode to that history that includes bourbon, but so much more culture. Kind of I can stop up in there. Another little seating area and down the stairs is a little half bath you can go into. Let's go upstairs to our room. The very charming little place. This is not our room, but it is another room. They have three rooms that you can rent here. This was a little queen room. I love all the touches, like the little places to charge your phone, a little chocolates, 
It also has a little seating area, some cards, and then a little bathroom with a tub and a little microwave and a little coffee stand. So you don't even have to come out of your room. We are in the king room. It's nice and spacious. Again, we have a refrigerator and a microwave and a little coffee Keurig for coffees and teas. A little sitting area, a little bourbon with a stand-up shower. But a nice little size with that stool. This is where we will be hanging out for the next few days. We're excited. Very comfy little place. There's a fireplace. Little fireplace. Mike's going to see if he can fire it up. There's a little remote control. It's, yes. So Mike is having our mint julep fruit salad. Some orange juice. And I'm having some pomegranate juice. It's lovely. What do we have here? We have some breakfast potatoes and then a veggie cheese and bacon quiche and a caprese salad with baby heirloom tomatoes, mozzarella, and then some pesto. Looks wonderful. Thank you so Delicious. much. Hey. Looks really good. And what a treat. For breakfast dessert, we have this lemon blueberry buttermilk cake, and it looks fabulous. This meal will last me all day. We are this morning having breakfast and coffee and right now we're having a fruit salad with bourbon barrel aged honey looks delicious delicious for breakfast this morning we got a breakfast skillet roasted sweet potatoes black beans bell pepper scrambled eggs salsa avocado and of course a butter milk biscuit can't wait to dig in thank you Anna. we have some great waffles with strawberries and of course bourbon maple syrup never had bourbon maple syrup I bet it's going to be good. We'll walk back this way. We can sit back here and enjoy the fire pit, which we will definitely be doing this evening. And then you can come over here. And they've got a nice screened in area. So if it's too hot or you're trying to stay away from those mosquitoes, got some little games you can play. You can sit out here. This would be a great place to have breakfast too. You have a little bar and a sweet little fountain that just gives that touch of no ways. Tell us about this house. What has it been? What's it done? If walls could talk, they'd have a lot of stories. The original part of the home, built in 1795, and then a secondary addition in 1820. The family was a cabinet-making, woodworking family, so they built their shop on the same property. Many years later, in the 1900s, it was all combined into a single-family home, and then it actually won a historic preservation award in the 90s. The Bradfords really put a lot of love into restoring the home for their family. And then they were the ones who kind of set it up to be a bed and breakfast. And it's changed hands twice since then, but everyone wanted to keep it as a shared community home. They have three bedrooms here. Uh, go check out those room reviews that are, that are gonna be following and pick which one you wanna come to. If you come to Bourbon Country, definitely give this place a look if you can get in because it books <laughs> up pretty quickly um, and the backyard's amazing i can't say enough good things would highly recommend this is a true hidden gem so cheers everybody and i hope you'll give them a check out thank you so much thank for your hospitality it's been great having you guys it's been fantastic it's really asked. Awesome.